Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations. x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 120 and x minus y is equal to 4. Our job is to find all possible values of x plus y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation number 1 and this equation equation number 2. First we start from this equation number 1. Equation 1 is uh, x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 120. By using this uh, algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times uh, a squared plus uh, ab plus b squared. This uh, x cubed minus uh, y cubed will become x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 120. Next, x minus y times we combine these two terms x squared and y squared. x squared plus y squared plus x times y is equal to 120. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared plus 2ab. This x squared plus y squared will become x minus y times x minus y whole squared plus 2xy plus this xy is equal to 120. Further simplify this will become x minus y times x minus y whole squared this is 2xy plus xy will become plus 3 times xy is equal to 120. Now in this equation we replace this x minus y and this x minus y with the value of x minus y 4 from equation number 2. So this equation will become 4 times 4 squared plus 3 times xy is equal to 120. Next, 4 times 4 squared is 16 plus 3 times xy is equal to 120. From here we divide both sides by 4. So this 4 will be cancelled out with this 4 and we are left with 16 plus 3 times xy is equal to 120 divided by 4 will become 30. And move this 16 to the right hand side this will become 3 times xy is equal to 30 minus 16. Next. 3 times xy is equal to 30 minus 16 is 14 and we divide both sides by 3. So this 3 will be cancelled out with this 3 and we are left with x times y is equal to 14 divided by 3. Let's call this equation equation number 3. Now we recall equation number 2 and square both sides of equation number 2. Equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 4. Equation 2 is x minus y is equal to 4. And we square both sides this will become x minus y whole squared is equal to 4 squared. By using this algebraic identity a minus b whole squared is equal to 
ए स्क्वेड माइनस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वेड दिस एक्स माइनस वाई होल स्क्वेड विल बिकम एक्स स्क्वेड माइनस टू एक्स वाई प्लस वाई स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू फोर स्क्वेड इज सिक्सटीन नो वी रीअरेंज दीज टर्म्स दिस विल बिकम एक्स स्क्वेड प्लस वाई स्क्वेड माइनस टू टाइम्स वी रिप्लेस दिस एक्स टाइम्स वाई विद दिस वैल्यू फोर्टीन ओवर थ्री फोर्टीन ओवर थ्री इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन नेक्स्ट एक्स स्क्वेड प्लस वाई स्क्वेड नेगेटिव टू टाइम्स फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट ओवर थ्री इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन मूव दिस नेगेटिव ट्वेंटी एट ओवर थ्री टू द राइट हैंड साइड दिस विल बिकम एक्स स्क्वेड प्लस वाई स्क्वेड इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटीन प्लस ट्वेंटी एट ओवर थ्री नेक्स्ट x squared plus y squared is equal to we can write the denominator of this 16 1 and we take lcm of 1 at 3 lcm of 1 at 3 is 3 3 divided by 1 is 3 3 times this 16 will become 48 plus 3 divided by 3 is 1 1 times this 28 will become 28 and this will become x squared plus y squared is equal to 76 divided by 3 let's call this equation equation number 4 and we recall equation number 3 equation number 3 is uh, x times y is equal to 14 over 3 equation number 3 is uh, x times y is equal to 14 over 3 this is equation number 3 now because we have to find the value of x plus y so by using this algebraic identity a squared plus b squared is equal to a plus b whole squared minus Two a b. This uh, x squared plus y squared can be written as uh, x plus y whole squared minus two x y is equal to seventy six divided by three. And in this equation, we replace this uh, x times y with this value fourteen over three. So this will become x plus y. Whole squared minus two times value of x y is fourteen over three is equal to seventy six divided by three. Next x plus y whole squared negative two times fourteen over three will become negative twenty eight over three is equal to seventy six over three. Next, x plus y whole squared. Move this negative twenty-eight over three to the right hand side. This will become seventy-six. Seventy-six over three plus twenty-eight over three. This will become x plus y whole squared is equal to the LCM is the three. This seventy-six will come here. Plus this twenty-eight will come here, and this will become x plus y whole squared is equal to seventy-six plus twenty-eight will become one hundred and four divided by three, and from here we take square root of both sides. So this square will be cancelled out with this square root, and we are left with. X plus y is equal to plus or minus. This square root of 104 over 3 is same as root 104 divided by root 
Now to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 3. So this will become x plus y is equal to plus or minus root 104 times root 3 will become root 312 divided by root 3 times root 3 will become 3. Next x plus y is equal to plus or minus this root 312 is same as root 4 times root 78 divided by 3 and this will become x plus y is equal to plus or minus 2 times root 78 divided by 3. So these are the two solutions for x plus y plus or minus 2 times root 78 over 3.